中美商品贸易额创历史新高。U.S. exports to China increase again for the third year in a row, but in a difficult year, I think that we can really appreciate that. 拜登国情咨文在提中国寻求竞争而非冲突。Competition. It's unfortunate that word has positive and negative connotations. It depends on the speaker's position. I embrace healthy. 福音对话专访美中贸易全国委员会会长克雷格·艾伦。二月七日，美国商务部发布数据显示，去年美中两国商品贸易升至六千九百零六亿美元，创历史新高。尽管华盛顿关于中美经济的脱钩论时有出现，但中美两大世界主要经济体之间的经贸往来仍然密切，两国相互依赖程度仍然较高。克雷格·艾伦，美中贸易全国委员会会长。美中贸易全国委员会创建于一九七三年，拥有二百多家在中国经商的美国会员企业。自成立以来，美中贸易全国委员会积极为美中两国之间的贸易往来搭建桥梁。目前，会员企业仍在不断增加。根据美中贸易全国委员会2022年中国商业环境调查，尽管面对众多挑战，中国对于美企的全球竞争力仍然至关重要。近八成受访企业认为，中国是其全球前五大优先市场之一。Good morning, Ambassador Craig Allen. It's great to have you on Talk with World Leaders. It's wonderful to have you with us. My pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Well, let's begin with uh, Sino-U.S. trade performance in 2022. Now, we've seen the data in this year's U.S.-China Business Council member survey, which says business sentiment and investment plans have bounced back from challenges before, despite flagging optimism and companies more cautious towards future investments. China remains vital to U.S. companies' global competitiveness. Uh, could you tell us more about? How is the business sentiment now? How do U.S. companies feel about doing business in China? Thank you, Nancy. What a pleasure to be here. Let me start out by just、uh, noting that China is a very large market, about the size of the European Union, but、uh, China is also growing very rapidly. So it is an extremely important market for companies、uh, around the world. Over the last ten years, China has contributed、uh, about thirty percent of global growth,、uh, global GDP growth. And in 2023, some have projected that China might be responsible for up to fifty、uh, percent of global GDP growth. But it is clear that growth rates、uh, are coming down. CEOs, as they look、uh, to the future. Uh, have to convince their boards、uh, that it is wise to continue to invest in China. And Master Allen,、uh, reports say that trade between U.S. and China is on track to break records、uh, in 2022, which is a signal of resilient links between the world's two top economies. What impact do you think the somewhat fragile bilateral relations have had? On trade relations between China and the U.S., and I'm very pleased to say that U.S. exports to China increased、uh, again for the third year in a row、uh, last year. A small increase of about two、uh, percent, but in a difficult year,、uh, I think that we can、uh, really appreciate that.、Uh, Chinese exports、uh, to the U.S. increased about six、uh, percent. A lot of the increase in trade in 2022 was due to high commodity prices.、Uh, I hope、uh, that inflation and commodity prices、uh, come down in 2023 and in 2024. 2022年，美国对华货物出口额增加24亿美元至1538亿美元，进口额增加318亿美元至5368亿美元，创历史新高。据美中贸易全国委员会的统计，美国全部五十个州均对华出口商品和服务，这使得近百万个美国就业岗位受益。对华出口大豆、玉米、高粱、牛肉、猪肉的州受益明显。
对此，艾伦表示，中美虽然面临政治上的紧张关系，但企业为了避免在中美双方的巨大市场错失商机而采取了行动。与安全领域无关的百分之九十五贸易产业仍保持着关系。Agriculture had a truly excellent performance last year. Soybeans, in particular, did very well. Corn. Was strong.、Uh, sorghum was、uh, strong. Alfalfa, cotton, beef, um, uh, dairy, uh, nuts uh, were all strong. So American farmers had a, a very positive year exporting、uh, to China、uh, last、uh, year. We don't really have、uh, the detailed numbers yet、uh, to make a detailed analysis.、Um, other products. But my intuition tells me,、uh, for example, aircraft, which has been a big part of U.S.-China trade for many years,、uh, did not have a good year. I think that services of tourism、uh, would be an example had a terrible year.、Uh, so we need to look at the individual sectors, and that data will be coming out over the next few days. Sure. What would you say some of the benefits of、uh, U.S. exports to China、uh, to American people?、Uh, you mentioned agriculture,、well, for example, has been a very successful year in terms of exports from the U.S. Right.、Uh, so approximately one million、uh, Americans are employed in exporting、uh, to China. Um, and、uh, approximately another 200,000 Americans are employed by Chinese companies, Chinese investors、uh, in the United States. And I think that we really appreciate、uh, all of those jobs. In my view, U.S. exports、uh, to China, while、uh, they're very large,、uh, should be much larger. I would expect that we have a relaxation of relations. Yet more Americans could be employed. In the very vibrant trade between the U.S. and China, China and the U.S. are the、uh, world's、uh, two largest uh, economies. Uh, China exports、uh, to the U.S. about、uh, maybe four and a half, five times what we export to China. We could do better. We could grow、uh, our share in the Chinese market, and I'd love、uh, to see that、uh, over the next few years. Most of your member companies are large multinational companies headquarters in the U.S. and they've been operating in China for、uh, many years, some、uh, up to 20 years. How do these companies view the changes in China's business environment? So, Nancy, let me approach that question、uh, from a industry by industry basis because you'll find very different answers、uh, from different、uh, companies. And let me just start out with、uh, those who are most bullish, those who are uh, uh, most、uh, excited about the prospects in China. And I think,、uh, as the trade numbers show, agriculture would be、uh, near the top. I think our energy companies are also very excited about opportunities in China. Consumer goods companies are are、uh, overjoyed、uh, with the expansion. Of、uh, China's middle class, I think chemicals and petrochemicals are very, very strong、um, as uh, China continues uh, to uh, put a lot of investment、uh, in that area. Industrial, in general, is uh, uh, very strong. I think automotive is very strong. We are seeing a lot of investment in that area, and we want to expand our presence in the in the China market. Financial services are great. That, of course, is insurance, banking, broking,、uh, you know, all of various financial services. Life sciences are are also very strong.、Uh, lots of investment, lots of joint ventures, lots of trade、uh, back and forth. Then, when we get to technology and aerospace, however, which which do have、uh, military or national security implications. The story is is more complicated. I noted earlier、uh, that aerospace had been a very large part of our bilateral trade for many years, and that's certainly、um, uh, worn off.、Um, and、uh, technology faces its own unique set of difficulties, where there's huge investment both ways, huge trade both ways, 
but concerns about the future uh, due to uh, the national security controls. So I think that the CEO's uh, views of China will change depending uh, very much upon where they sit um, and what industry they're in. Um, uh, but generally uh, speaking, we recognize that China will continue to uh, produce uh, a large percent of, of global growth in certainly in 2023 and beyond. And we want to be a part of that uh, story uh, going forward. And we think that bilateral trade and bilateral investments stabilizes the overall uh, relationship and uh, that there's a net benefit uh, to both sides.一月二十七日，美国、荷兰、日本三国政府达成协议，拟将对中国芯片制造施加新的设备出口管制和限制。对此，中国半导体行业协会发布了严正声明，反对这一破坏现有全球半导体产业生态的行为，反对这一干涉全球贸易自由化、扭曲供需关系和供需平衡的行为。事实上，近年来，美国企图限制中国半导体产业发展的动作从未停歇。二零二一年，美国人工智能国家安全委员会曾向美国国会提供了一份七百五十六页的报告。报告中提到，美国想要在半导体产业保持全球领先地位，应设法妨碍中国进口光刻机等尖端芯片生产设备。并考虑与荷兰和日本协调制定推定拒绝的政策，以将中国的半导体产业限制在落后于美国两代的程度。随后，美国相继牵头成立了美国半导体联盟和芯片四方联盟，并批准通过了《芯片与科学法案》，积极塑造和构建去中国化的半导体供应链体系。二零二二年十月七日，美国商务部工业安全局发布《半导体的出口管制新规》，对先进芯片、软件以及用于生产先进芯片的各种半导体制造设备的对华出口提出了前所未有的许可限制。Now we have seen over the past year and the past few years, the U.S. has taken measures in terms of export control, import restrictions,、uh, and industrial subsidies against China in areas such as semiconductors, a new energy. A lot of these areas seem to be restricted、uh, for our Sino and U.S. collaboration. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I think that your observation is absolutely correct. And indeed,、uh, the export controls have had a severe effect、uh, on some industries.、Um, I think that if we want to look at the reasons why,、um, we can look back、uh, to Adam Smith,、uh, the famous Scottish、uh, economist、uh, of the 18th century, who wrote *The Wealth of Nations*, and、uh, he taught us、uh, that. Um, free trade is always、uh, the best、uh, relationship between two countries, except in the case of defense items. I think that、uh, he's right.、Uh, I think that the leadership、uh, of China and the leadership of the United States would probably both agree with that statement. It's clear uh, that, uh, for example, semiconductors, which you mentioned,、uh, does have a military contribution. Uh, semiconductors are used in weapons and in in other uh, uh, defense uh, items,、um, and so the problem that we face here is that innovation、um, on a global basis is really coming more and more from the civilian industries and not from、uh, the defense industries, and so differentiating what is civilian, what is defense. Uh, becomes harder and harder, uh, and uh, the regulators, the governments, are having a hard time uh, at uh, differentiating. But it's still important to differentiate between civilian and defense areas. So,、um, semiconductors, for example, are dual use.、Uh, they are used in both. 
Um, and therefore, this is a uh, intellectual problem that both governments face. I would say it's not limited to semiconductors. Let's look at uh, artificial intelligence and other high technologies that have dual use capabilities. So uh, are we doing a good job on this? Well, I think uh, we should be targeted and be careful uh, not to use uh, national defense as an excuse for protectionism. And I think that both governments are in fact doing that. And that uh, that's something that we really need to rein in if we are all to gather the benefits of high technology. Biotechnology would be the best example. I think that US and Chinese scientists together could cure cancer uh, forever uh, if we give them a chance. Uh, but biotechnology also could potentially have uh, a dual use or, or military uh, uses. So uh, this is a uh, intellectual conundrum that both governments need to face. 二月七日，美国总统拜登在国会发表其任内第二次国情咨文演讲，大篇幅地琢磨两年来的政绩，传达乐观预期，成为拜登当晚演讲的主基调。在演讲当中，拜登多次提及中国，他表示自己已向中方明确表示，美国寻求竞争而不是冲突。That we seek competition, not conflict. But I will make no apologies. That we're investing in to make America stronger, investing in American innovation and industries that will define the future that China intends to be dominating. 经贸合作是中美关系的压舱石和推进器，但是近年来美国政府以战略竞争定义中美关系，对华采取了一系列的贸易限制措施和保护主义做法，损害了两国企业和民众的利益。On February the 7th, uh, President uh, Joe Biden delivered his annual State of the Union address focusing on domestic issues and the economy. President Joe Biden also said uh, in his uh, State of the Union address this time that U.S. is in the strongest position in decades to compete with China. How do you and uh, fellow Americans understand and view this policy of competition with China? I think that uh, competition is uh, excellent, uh, makes us all stronger. Uh, without competition, uh, we're not going to uh, improve very much, and we're not going to be as healthy as we should be. So I embrace uh, healthy uh, competition, and um, uh, I want, at the same time, uh, to keep the doors open for as much cooperation as possible. With Chinese uh, suppliers, Chinese customers, uh, Chinese friends, uh, Chinese ac uh, academics, Chinese media. So uh, we want a, a fair uh, competition uh, going both ways. So competition, it's unfortunate that word has positive and negative connotations. It depends on the speaker's uh, position. I think that we need to maybe make two words rather than one word. Uh, there's good competition and bad competition. And I want to maximize the benefits of the former and minimize the damage of uh, the latter. My next question is also something that's uh, recently came up. Uh, it's in the news that several Republican senators in the U.S. have filed a bill uh, to end China's permanent normal trade status. Uh, the China Trade Relations Act, it's called, if passed, would revert China's most favored nation status to pre-2001 designation, requiring its status to be renewed every year by the president with congressional approval. How do you think this is going to impact things? What are your thoughts on this bill? In my job, uh, I am tracking some 800 uh, pieces of legislation and this is uh, one of them. I uh, expect that this Congress will surpass the last Congress in the amount of legislation uh, that they are uh, proposing. The bill that you mentioned was um, uh, drafted by Senator uh, Tom Cotton. I think that uh, it does not have a lot of support in uh, the Congress, but and, and that no proper analysis has been done on the potential cost of such a bill to the United States. But um, I would watch this bill carefully. Um, and uh, while I think that there is a low probability of it passing, 
if it did pass, the damage uh, could be uh, very uh, significant. But um, we live in a democracy and that democratic process is working out uh, and we are deeply engaged uh, in that uh, democratic uh, process. So on the Hill, um, uh, within the Congress, uh, since the last election, there was a change. Um, while the Democratic Party kept the Senate, uh, the Republican Party took the House, um, not by a large majority, uh, only by a few uh, by a few seats. Uh, yes, but that, that very has difficult election. A, yes, yeah, but that has led uh, to a, a, a different political um, uh, ecology. Uh, dynamic. In, in the United States. Dynamics. Yeah, a very different dynamic. And we just have to uh, respect that dynamic and, and work within uh, those uh, parameters. And we will uh, work within those parameters uh, to try and get legislation uh, that helps Americans and uh, actually benefits uh, the country uh, rather than legislation does not. Um, so uh, we are very much engaged uh, in the process and advocating on behalf of uh, legislation that makes us uh, uh, stronger, better, and makes the world a better place. Sure. We certainly have seen a lot of bills, a lot more bills certainly compared to the past previously, uh, China-related right. bills being uh, proposed right. in the Congress. Uh, we just have to try to ensure that uh, any legislation uh, is well-conceived, well-drafted, and, and can be uh, implemented in a reasonable uh, manner that uh, at not too great a cost uh, to uh, Americans. And uh, we make mistakes. Uh, you know, I think that uh, in our history, uh, there are, have been many uh, mistakes that have been made. We will do our best to ensure that good legislation is passed that helps Americans uh, over the longer term. Uh, but we are cognizant uh, that uh, this is a highly contested area and that uh, our views, uh, the views of business, uh, the views of economists, are not the only views uh, out there in the public arena and that we're going to have to be forceful in trying to represent uh, the views that are economically rational, uh, that improve uh, the uh, well-being of American citizens uh, over uh, the longer term. But being in the public arena, um, not uh, nothing unusual here. Uh, we will do our best uh, to ensure uh, that good legislation passes. 自中国疫情防控措施调整以来，中国2023年的经济复苏情况受到世界关注。上调成为近期国际机构对中国经济增长预期不约而同的判断。联合国报告预测，在2023年世界经济增速将降至 1.9% 的背景下，中国经济增速将达到 4.8%。世界银行预测，中国2023年经济增长将升至 4.3%。国际货币基金组织将二零二三年中国经济增长预期上调至百分之五点二，高出此前预测值零点八个百分点。此外，摩根士丹利、高盛、瑞信、瑞银等知名投行也纷纷上调中国经济增长预期。《经济学人》将中国优化疫情防控措施称为二零二三年最大的经济事件。该杂志称，随着中国对商品的需求复苏，世界各国的出口商将从中受益。China has now adjusted COVID control measures. What are your expectations for the Chinese market in 2023? Well, I think that、uh, for the first and second quarter of 2023, you're going to see a big rush.、Uh, Chinese uh, savings are, are high, and a lot of Chinese are going to be happy. To go out there and、uh, have a beer or go to a movie, I think that that's uh, fantastic. Uh, so we expect uh, a strong uh, first quarter and a strong、uh, second quarter.、Uh, if China is able to obtain five percent growth, that would be、uh, an excellent result, and I hope we see that uh, in twenty twenty four and beyond. What about China-U.S. trade relations, and、uh, in what areas do you see the two countries could collaborate more in, in terms of business areas? Oh, I think that there's so many uh, areas uh, 
And I'm hopeful that the two governments can begin talking to each other about these issues uh, because there's a huge amount of investment that could take place. There's a huge amount of trade uh, that could take place, but we need to do so uh, in an atmosphere, not uh, full trust and at least uh, stability and predictability. And right now, uh, I don't think that we have either one. And that's why we're so supportive of uh, President Xi and President Biden's decision in Bali to re-engage in economic and other uh, discussions. And we were so much looking forward to the visit of Secretary Blinken to China. We're hopeful that that could be put on uh, back on um, the schedule as soon as possible. Well, thank you very much. I think we all look forward to more engagement and more collaboration between the two nations. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And I wish you, everyone, uh, a very good uh, Year of the Rabbit.